Hello everyone, how's it going? Phil here doing another video. In this video, we're gonna have a look at replacing the fans on old uh, graphics cards with cheap replacement fans from eBay. And there are various types and we're gonna have a look at them. So this might be a long video because I'm not gonna do a lot of video editing. It's gonna be quite raw, but hopefully um, it's interesting enough. And if you like it, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to my channel, and if you've got any questions, leave a comment. Also go to my website, philscomputerlab.com, which is a platform for all these videos and a lot of other stuff like drivers, downloads, benchmarks, games, and so on. Okay, let's have a look at some, some of the cards. Um, I've done, I've got two cards here, and they're the same card, one with the stock cooler, one with the uh, replacement cooler. So this is the, the WinFast version, Win, WinFast A380 Ultra which is a GeForce FX 5950 Ultra. So very, very good card. And this, this is heavy, cool, it's really heavy. It goes on both sides, it covers the back and the front. There's lots of copper in there. The fan is not too bad, but it, it, rattle, it rattles a bit, it's a bit noisy, and I might also replace uh, this card. Quite a lot of work to get it all off, but in the end, it was definitely worth it and this is the same card it's also the Leetech fx 5950 ultra so i happen to have two and here i have already replaced the cooler so you can see i'm using uh, memory coolers on both sides and this is the replacement cooler which i've got from ebay in terms of efficiency the fx 5950 ultra happens to have a thermal uh, sensor in the chip and it cools just as good as the stock cooler so if it cools one of these car this card you'll be fine with a GeForce 4 or GeForce 3 cards they consume a little bit less power uh, this was one of the first cards that came with a Molex power supply uh, connector so it actually draws quite a bit of power and this replacement cooler is certainly up to the task we can have a look how it fits in here quite nicely, quite and snug and yeah, definitely um, a job well done and it's basically inaudible. That cooler is so quiet you don't hear it. And here I've got another card, already uh, same cooler, I've done uh, that replacement a while ago. This is a, I think it's an Albatron or Albatross, Albatron I believe, Albatron, uh, AGB 8X GeForce 4 Ti 4200 and that's quite an elaborate cooler for this card because as we can see uh, in this example the stock GeForce 4 cooler is, is this tiny thing so it doesn't really need a lot of cooling you can also see that the memory chips are not cooled um, a sign that they don't really need any cooling uh, I believe that this card the GeForce card actually uses uh, DDR2 memory and that runs a little bit hotter. Okay, what else we got? This is the card I wanna do the uh, mod on today. It's a WinFast, where is the model number? There you go, A250 Ultra. It's basically a GeForce 4, uh, 4600. It's the, the, top, the top GeForce 4 and very nice, very nice card, got it all box and everything which I, I didn't expect I thought it was just a card but it came with everything all the uh, games and discs and breakout cables so a very very good card um, it's good dual fans and let's have a look uh, I've done a recording earlier of the fan how, how, how noisy it is and so we just get an idea of um, before and after so we're just gonna have a, a listen to what the fan sounds like So the first task will be uh, taking the stock cooler apart. But before we uh, start with modding the cooler, let's have a look at what coolers are out there and what, what is on eBay. You can definitely, you can get these. These are uh, memory cooler coolers. They have a, uh, a stick on, on the back. You just uh, peel it off and slap it on. And they work pretty well. But I do recommend you, cool the, uh, you, you clean the memory chips before you do that. Now, 
the most popular coolers you'll find on eBay are these two models. And you can see the difference looking at the back. That cooler looks like that. And that one has a bit of a, a bit of a rectangular uh, shape. It's a bit hidden with the, with the screws. And you can see it's not one one piece of metal. It's kind of it's got a center bit in there. And this is actually this one looks bigger. It looks more substantial. But I actually don't recommend getting this one. I, I had a lot of trouble mounting this one. And um, yeah. I can't remember exactly what was wrong with it, but I, I gave up on using this. So my recommendation is getting these ones. I've got, I've got a couple of these. I usually buy uh, a couple whenever I order them on eBay because they come with free shipping. It doesn't really, it does a model number. It just says here VJ Cooler. Um, there's some company down down here, Ice Fox. And at the back, what have we got? There's some specifications. Uh, 12 volts, uh, 3000 RPM fan, and it mentions some cards here at the top. So, quite a lot of cards that these replacement coolers uh, support. Now, I forgot how expensive they are, but I will just uh, put in a picture of the eBay store I got this from. They are really, really cheap. Um, and definitely worth getting a few. Okay, so I'm gonna replace the cooler on this uh, card. It's the Winfast A250 Ultra, which is a GeForce 4, 4000, uh, GeForce 4 Ti 4600. So it's quite a decent card. Um, but yeah, as we as we listen to the cooler, it's not the quietest. So the first step we need to do is get rid of, you can see these pins that go through. So we just have to release them on the other side. So we need to uh, push them through and then just uh, clamp them together and push them through to the other side. Like so, so that one is uh, free. Oops, there it is. You can already see that the card gets a bit loose. Now that one is a little bit trickier to get. It's easy to push through, but there's no easy way to uh, put your finger in there. There you go. Now that one's free. And I forgot the second fan here. So this one has two fans, interesting. Okay, here we go. So this is the card. We can see the four memory modules. And here's the stock cooler. So it also had contact with the memory coolers. So let's have a look at the back. And let's see how we can get this thing off. Actually, I'm gonna leave this Oh no, we have to we have to remove it. So what I'm gonna try is, is just put a screwdriver in here and then just slowly apply a bit of force and see see if it comes off. So there's already some oh that was easy. There you go. Okay, so there we are. Four memory chips at the back and at the front. You're not quite sure with this. In his, oh, okay. Probably some, just a bit of cooling for the chip on the back. Okay, so now we're going to do some uh, cleaning. And what I always use is uh, Arctic Cooling. The Arctic Clean number one is the removal. So just going to get some tissues. And there you go, good to go. Okay, so now we're gonna start mounting the cooler. So let's unpack, let's unpack the cooler. Okay. 
there's even a little, a little diagram here. So let's have a look if we can decipher that. So the important thing is that there are little, are four little uh, rubber washers and they need to rest on the PCB. That's the main thing. Um, there are two standoffs that are a bit taller. They go on the top of the card and the shorter standoffs go at the bottom. All right, so let's unpack this. So this goes in the back. These are for the top. These two go on the bottom. And we have two long screws and two short ones. So the long screws go from the bottom. And okay. So what we need to do is just make sure I get this right. So first we're gonna make sure which holes we're gonna put them through. So we can use these uh, from here to there. These are the, the big ones and just double check. Yeah, so that's all the width, the whole, the whole width. So put these screws in first. Then we put a no one of these. side now we put the rubber washers in like so So I might just have to loosen this. Put them all the way to the ends. Let's try this again. There you go. So that fits nicely. And what we need next is put rubber washers from this side. And from the other one. I'm not going to put them too tight, just enough force that, there you go, and that's really it, and we can just have a look and visualize how this cooler sits, so it would sit like that, and then you put your uh, screws through from the top. So, I'm going to remove the sticker. I'm going to put some thermal paste on. Just like that. And the pressure will spread it around. And then just alternating. I'm going to slowly tighten it all the way down. Let me just check if we can still put the. Well, I'm not going to. I don't think I'm going to put any memory. 
and memory coolers and this one it's really not necessary on things but that's probably a good point if you want to put memory coolers on there um, you might want to do that before mounting the cooler and done so let's have a look at how it's mounted a bit hard to see but it sits fairly flush frame spins fine so we're just gonna connect the uh, power cable so look which way this goes okay so that might not fit properly so we might have to just do a bit of just pulling this part there you go that's our cooling mod job done so I'm gonna put it put it in my machine and see what it's like 